Welcome everybody to another Dragon Champions video. I'm your host, Dragon. We are here today. We're going to talk about the tower. Uh, the tower, I have gotten some uh, messages on Discord from people in my guild and some other people uh, asking about tower. How can we get through the tower? And so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how I've been getting through the tower. Um, I have been completing it the last few days, uh, as you can probably see here on the screen on the screen excuse me um soleus is a big 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 help for me uh getting through the tower um but what i've been doing is i've been running in the beginning i run teams that allow for me to have survivability that's the biggest that's the biggest issue soleus i think is by far the best healer in the game at this point uh if you have his he has two healing abilities um and his heal that heals everyone if you get that to level five that's where i have it um it just is huge my ken lee's not particularly good but that's why i use them in the beginning uh, here is the big one uh, for me uh, it's you know, all about patriarch chi in the beginning um and how i can use him so let's go ahead and open these up i'll give you some other tips for me you know just kind of some some basic tips about what i am doing to get through the tower every day uh, one of the big things that I'm doing is that I do have, if you're the, if you're the type of player who focused on say just orcs right at the beginning, if, if what you did was I've got to get my orcs done, I'm going to get Soleus. Well, you probably have Soleus now. Um, but did you, did you do what you needed to do to get Soleus? Um, you know, did you just focus directly on your orcs and that's all you did? Did you have anything else going on? I don't know that's going to be up to you and what you know what you had and what you didn't have and that sort of thing but did you work on any other characters did you are you completely maxed out i think that a lot of people who struggle with the with with the tower are people who do not have a a few teams right and teams are really what matters here as you can see this is my team that i'm running for the beginning part of here and i just walk through the first part as you should um obviously when you get to six for me when i get to level six and when i get to level nine things get tough but if you're beat up by the time you get to level six right you're gonna have a hard time if you're beat up and you get to level nine so that's why i call patriarch chi is so good i mean i think he's I think he's probably the best character in the game. I've, I've, I have thought about doing a top 10 breakdown. I know that there are other top 10s. I didn't know how Soleus was going to do, so I've been kind of holding off on a video like that. But Patriarch Chi, is, his leadership ability is so good. As you can see right now, I only have it at level 4. Um, I've been working on Nightiel and Soleus getting them maxed out. I'm almost to 60, um, and I know that when I get to 60... You know, that's kind of where the all you can unlock everybody's uh, everybody's uh, abilities then. So we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and attack uh, Salador. I think that's his name. We all got most of the names down, but let's still make mistakes on those. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and just armor him up. That's probably a mistake, but since he's not taunting. But Soleus and Nightiel are phenomenal together. And as you can see, we're 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 we're, we're up against level 52s on this one. We're just gonna go right through him. Let's go ahead and get our damage up here. I need to get her so I can cast that first first turn damage up. Let's go ahead and taunt. Just kill her in one shot. As you can see, Nighty L's huge. Now, so if you don't have, if you don't have Nighty L, and you don't have Patriarch uh, Patriarch Chi, um, and you don't have Soleus, uh, and you're relatively new to the game, what I would tell you to do is you, you try to get them. <laughs> I know that he's not free to play accessible. I know that um, Patriarch Chi. I got him through an opening um, opening packs. So if you're if you're not if this is free to play and you're struggling with these you're going to need to get characters that allow you to up shields, you know, to get your shields back up. That's what makes 
Patriarch Chi so good. And let's go ahead and just, I'm just going to read his ability um, where it's at right now. All right. So his, his ability says all ally healing spells apply shields equal to 40% of the healing. All stacks by allies from the order restore 16 of their maximum shields. And then, and that's at level four. Uh, that's at level five and I'm at level four right now. So obviously if I can get this up at max, it's 50%, 20% max shields. It's really, really good. Um, and so that's what makes him so good is that all, every time you have an order pierce, every time you have an order character dealing damage, they're returning, they're returning their own shields. And that's part of the reason why I use this order team. And so I've just, this is the team I use until I have to bring someone else in. Um, but you have to have multiple teams to complete the tower. If you only have two teams and there for a little while, I only had two teams. Uh, I had my orcs and I had a, a variation of this team here. And I, there were just days where I couldn't get through. Uh, there was no, there was no, um, winning, but now it's gotten pretty consistent, um, because of, because of yeah. having these two major teams and then i have a i have a pride team as well and so getting through the tower is about having a wider roster um and in this game to have a wider roster you you almost have to spend money it or you just have to wait um and that sort of thing so it's in, in i hate saying it that way because i don't if you don't want to spend money on this game you don't have to this game is free to play accessible it is free to play friendly um i've not played this game free to play i played this game and i've spent money on this game and that's why i'm able to do what i can do um at the present moment however with that said if you are free to play you have to you have to understand how to comprise your teams if you are level 60 right now let's say you've been playing as long as i have and you're free to play and you're level 60 you should have already unlocked uh the ability to farm uh patriarch chi um he's located on two nodes and i'll show you those nodes now all right order seven three and order and demon three three i think if you're level 60 even free to play i think you should be able to you know, get these. If you're level 50, I think that you should be able to get these. Um, I've been able to farm him, and I have been farming him. I got he was level four. I unlocked him at four stars, and I've I've been farming him ever as soon as I was able to. I started farming him up. Um, he's he's your he's your key he's your key player. So another thing I do also in the tower, and I know this might be people may not like this, is you see these bonus rooms. You got clans and on the first on the level three here, you got clans and you got order. So on clans, I actually come in and I play a pride team here. Uh, that's how I do it. I have I have Hera. All right. And so I play this pride team. And then I drop in Mortha, who's our only clan healer. And this is the team I come in with. Um, on these clans i do not bring my orcs like i don't bring my entire orc team in to fight these low level guys i bring in other low level characters level characters that are close to their level uh to play against against these this is a full orc team all right so we're gonna go after mar because he's gonna be able to do the most damage to us uh to start off with gotta kill the bear the bear and the maiden fair here go back after mar there we go well, let's go ahead and just kill more of them now if you if you haven't if you don't know who hera is you haven't used hera she's she's good she's real good her leadership is great it makes uh salvatore taunt um which makes him a very good game he's very easily accessible out of the arena store uh, if I or not the arena, I think it's arena. I think he's out of the arena store. Um, you can get him. And he also has several nodes that you can farm him on as well. And so, having these extra, 
having these extra teams around that you can bring in um, on these other areas is the way to go. If you can't, if you don't have the extra teams to do it, like if you don't have an extra pride team like here, like I have here, don't do them. Uh, that It's more important to finish the tower than it is to complete every single portion of the tower. Uh, that's that's the other that's another thing so those are kind of like the high level overviews right you got to have a wider roster you got to have a, at least two or three teams that you can bring in um, to play against and then that you know that those are the things that you need to have after that though it becomes it becomes a matter of strategy right on that last one i actually wasn't I didn't do very well and I and I did that on purpose to a second because I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them back up here in a minute. If you see when I start this tower when I start this thing here, he's low on health, right? Everybody else is full health and they have their shields. Patriarch Chi, if he can give their shields up, they will have full shields again. So let's go ahead and attack Mar. This is gonna be another one of those ones where we're just gonna hit Mar right off the bat. Um we might, we'll be able to kill him here. And then we'll kill Mortha. We'll just go straight after him. Arantha's gonna drop the bear. My sound went, sound went away. So here's the thing, I can use this taunt here, all right? And then they'll have to attack me, but do I want to? Probably not. I want to save the taunt, right? And the reason why we're going to save the taunt is these guys are low level, right? And so we're just going to, we're not going to taunt, we're going to wait, and we're going to kill all these guys before before we have to worry about that. And those are the types of considerations you have to make when you're playing the tower, right? He's still low level, but he's got full shields, or almost full shields. And so that's kind of what we're looking at. Um... You have to you have to know where your abilities are, where they're going to be at, who who's going to be using their abilities next. I mean, it takes some it takes some planning. Yeah, you can't just go through the tower and go, oh look, I'm going to win every single one, right? You have to think, okay, well my next tier is going to be higher, and since my next tier is going to be higher, I have to think, should I cast this taunt right now when I have three guys left and I'm going to blow them all up? No, you want to wait, hold that taunt because you know now Ken Lee his next his next turn is going to be a taunt. Um, and since I know that his next turn is going to be a taunt, I can, and we're dealing with a, you know, with a pretty tough team here, with, at least with the characters. They're lower level than me, but the characters are pretty tough, right? So what, what can we do? Well, we can drop a shield on him, give him a bunch more shields. We're also going to throw armor up on him as well. Right, we know he's going to taunt his next turn. So we're going to give him extra turns, extra shields. Right, and now he's gonna taunt, and now he's gonna have, you know, he's gonna be able to to um, take absorb more damage, uh, and that sort of thing. We're gonna go ahead and heal him up. Now we knew that he was going to get attacked, so we know that, but we know we're also gonna get shields back when he heals himself, so not too bad. Right? So you have to just kind of think. Look, he's he's just taking damage. He hasn't even gotten into his health bar. So the pink bar here, if you don't know, the pink bar is the extra shields that you have. Your yellow, your white bar is the your amount of shields. So he still hasn't gone into the next bit of shields. He still has look uh, one more turn, and he'll be able to retaunt again. So we're just gonna go ahead and slap her and kill her. And once again, we're here again. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cast this um, onto, onto Soleus. And the reason for that is, is that he's going to have a full shield bar, right? He was low health. He already had some health issues. Um, he had no shields. And so now he's got a full health shield bar. When you hit next, when you hit next and you go into your next fight with this team... You're going to see Soleus has a full shield bar now. 
um, again. And we're going to go into this next one. So now as you see, Solius has a full shield bar. So he's going into this next one with full shields, and he had no shields until we gave him full shields with Patriarch Chi. This is why Patriarch Chi is so good. Um, and this team, the team that I have right now, if I, pro I might be able to go from 1 till 12 with them if Ken Lee was better. My Ken Lee is, is he doesn't, his abilities are not strong enough to make him viable. So we're going to go after Kira here. Um, we're going to just try to see if we can avoid uh, her from casting the spells. We did. So let's go ahead and hit old lure. Let's go ahead and hit a damage up. The damage up is so good. And boom. Done. Got a little bit of daze. Let's go ahead and hit berserk. And we're going to taunt. And this should be enough. Yep. 18,000. 18,000 with with her if you if you don't have her or you haven't been lucky enough to get her out of a pack um she's phenomenal i know they just had they, ju they just ended with a you know where you can get 30 shards of her um if you bought the five dollar and 49 cent packs i i bought them all um uh, simply because she's amazing and faster i can get her to seven stars the better so this video is going to be, be a little bit longer, I think. And the reason for that is I want to show you a full tower run. I, you know, and so that's what we're doing here. The video is long because I'm going to go through the whole tower run. We're getting to level six here that we're starting to see some tougher teams, right? 54s. Um, you can also look right here. If you click on these guys, you can see where they're at, right? Gear seven, right? You can see where their abilities are. And this is another thing. I mean, you want to do this. Um, you want to click on these in the tournament, just do that as well. Click on these characters and look where they're at. Um, and that way you'll know who to attack first. Like she's the most powerful character on this team. Now, just looking at her, her level tells us that, but why is she the most powerful character? Well, it's because she's got level five two two of her abilities are level five and she's got some great runes, right? And so... We're going to want to attack her and kill her, but she's, you know, right away. Sometimes in tournament, different tournament strategies. I did just play second in the last um, tournament, the one, the one of the tournaments that just ended today. Um, I did play second on my shard for that. Uh, and a lot of that had to do with tournament strategies. And I can talk about tournament strategies later, but it, they're, they're similar. Tournament, tournament strategies and how you deal with the tower are very similar because you need to know who you're attacking and what's going on before you go into it. If you just go in blind, right, you're, you could, you're going to end up hurt. You're going to end up with people hurting you real bad. See, now we're dealing with Patriarch Chi and he's going to heal her up. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of a bummer. And so now we got Ken Lee over there who's taunted, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to heal myself up with that and get the damage increase. And then I'm going to toss the shields over. All right. Obviously, we didn't kill her fast enough, and so that's kind of why we're in the predicament that we're in. I'm in a battle stance now, and we're going to go after Ken Lee. Hopefully, you know, he... Look at that. Boom. <laughs> She is amazing. She is absolutely amazing. She basically just one shot Kinley. All right, so we just lost. We just lost uh, one of our guys. And why are we losing him? Well, because Kinley could not taunt in the beginning. When you lose somebody who you want, back out. That's the other. That's the other big strategy. All right, another big strategy. Back out. I did. I don't want to lose. Um, I don't want to lose. Snorri that way but look we're on six at six is usually when i start bringing in my power harder team so i'm gonna bounce him i'm gonna bounce Snorri, I'm bringing in trump guard and i'm bringing in kira all right and this is my team that i'm using right now in arena and the reason for that is trump guard is going to uh, taunt first turn all right 
he's going to taunt first turn. And so because you have the ability to do that, you know you haven't used him yet. You know he's going to taunt first turn because I have his ability at six. If you don't know, Trumgard's uh, taunt at six allows him to go first uh, or allows him to taunt first. All right. So now, because we have this strategy is a little bit different, he we know he's going to taunt first. I'm going to shield him right away. We're going to attack. All right. What are the odds that we kill her this time? All right. We have a be we have a better shot of getting her killed. Um, let's actually back out again. So I keep forgetting with Patriarch Chi. I have I have a strategy, and I'll show you with Patriarch Chi how, what I do to usually beat him. Uh, getting a little sidetracked by trying to, you know, fetter it all out. But with Patriarch Chi leads, when I come across them in the tower or in anywhere else for that matter, what I tend to do is hit him. He seems he seems to if he is low, right? So if I hit him first, right? and then go after someone else, he will always, from the most part, shield himself first. Now let's see if he'll do that. Nope, he still, he shields, he will shield the lowest level person. All right, but now he's low. And so we're gonna throw this over on him. Get damage increased to everybody else and invisibility. And so what we have here is we couldn't get through her and the shield. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out again. And it's okay just to back out. It's it, I know tower can take a while, but if you just if you back out and you make better decisions, you're learning. You're learning from what what needs to be done. This is a tough team. This is a high-end team that you might see in arena. These characters are really good. Um so what do we got to do? We just got to play better. And the tower allows you to do that. The tower allows you to back out and come back and back out and come back. Um, and so that's what we're doing. Um, we're, we're going through at the tower and we're, we're learning how to do this. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go actually go after uh, Patriarch Chi here right in the beginning. In fact, we're not even going to we're not even going to shield. We're just going to attack him. We're going to attack again. We're gonna attack again. Right. And that's perfectly fine. Because we're we're gonna heal ourselves with her. And, and he's gonna get his health back. Because there's they got healers galore. Alright. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna give all the heals to him. This time. Oof. Let's see. I would don't think they have any AoEs left, but he is sticking out there. All right. Hopefully they don't kill, and that's what I was afraid of. And so because I didn't heal Solius right away, he gets killed. And that's kind of what happens. Like, this is honestly how my runs go. I get through them. I get through them. I've been getting through them every day uh, for the last five days. Um, but this is how they happen. I sit and I think and I try to figure this out. And this team, this team here may not be the right team to fight this, this team. Maybe it is. You make one mistake, though. You make one mistake, like not healing. I should have healed Solius with his big heal. Would have filled him up, right? But I didn't, and then he became on the, the taunt came off. And so that's kind of what we're looking at. What if we go, in this case, we, I forgot, we have San, uh, Zandra over here. Let's just straight up attack her. She has to eat her own health, right, to heal. So let's just do that. Look at that. We ended up actually killing her. Now Solius has got an ability block on him, which is not good, but we'll hide him and then we'll throw the thing. We'll throw the shield up. 
So here, here we go. Now we're we're they're already down a guy. We already know we can one shot their. <laughs> if we if we get if he gets un if he gets lucky if we get lucky to hit him, his dodge ability is ridiculous. As soon as his dodge comes off, I just finish him. I sh made a mistake there, though. I should have healed. Hopefully Soleus gets a turn before... There we go. And Soleus' heal is going to probably save the day now. Let's see, who needs shields? Soleus does. Let's just go ahead and give him shields. Power up. We're not, see, we're not using this this time. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Um... We'll go ahead and do it, because it's going to take more than two or three turns for us to, to get this done, I think. And so we're just going to do that ability block. We're not going to use the AoE. So we, we decide not to do the AoE on that one, because we only have two guys to hit. And look at that. So there you go. And we have enough shields. We got through them, but we had to change our strategy, right? Who did we go after? We went after the healer. Why did we go after the healer? Um, after a while, we realized, oh, well, she's got to use her own heal, or her own abilities to heal up. What was happening is we were getting, we were getting stuck. So here we go. We have another one here, bonus room, and another bonus room order. If you, once again, on this, if you don't have the characters, don't, just don't do it. All right, I'm going to bring in Hera, and I'm going to bring in Venomate here and at this point because these guys are higher level all right we gotta have all right i'm gonna bring in venomate on this one for his aoe and so once again we're we're going through it we're we're we're, we're just slowly plugging through but we're having to use different characters on these side rooms if you don't have those different characters don't use them don't don't even bother with it right it's only going to cause you issues. He, okay, so Hera here, o uh, Oasis Shadows, increases dodge because he's already hurt, right? And we're going to go ahead and give him a dodge increase um, and then attack, and hopefully he gets some health, but he didn't. Right. We're everybody else is under stealth, and we're going to go right back after Kira here. And we're hurting, but once again, we have two different things. Can we we can throw out personal curse? And this is the thing: we're gonna throw out the curse, all right? Because he's gonna gain all the all those heals or all those shields, I should say. He's still hurting. We're still attacking Trom Guard here because we're under stealth. Uh, let's see. We can attack Master Duo. He's also got. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go after Duo. Um, here, Trom Guard, we're going to gain 40% turn meter and hit him. We are now going to use a heal. Alright, use our AoE, poison people. All right. And then, we are going to go ahead and shell. Because I think I'm going to have, yep, that's what I thought gonna have the ability to put him under stealth and then here's the thing we're gonna lose people this is this is one of those moments where I don't expect this team to to win and if I don't really want to lose my gal here and so I'm kind of I'm thinking do I really want to win this probably not so we're just gonna back out right once again that team my team there's not powerful enough to come in and beat that 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 orc team with um this orc team i just can't beat it and so what am i gonna do um well i'm gonna hit the the bonus the bonus here and we're gonna pull these guys out and we're gonna put in our own orcs all right we're not worried about trom guard being used if we if we wanted to have a different tank we could do that um if we wanted to pull in uh, you know, save the tank. We could do that as well. 
uh, we can come in and just put, you know, Salvador in there. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. He's going to have a first turn taunt um, because we didn't use it before. So we're going to back out, use the first turn taunt for him. But we're also going to be able to drop the bear, the bear, and the maiden fair. But we're going to drop see, first turn taunt right away. Uh, we're still going to drop the bear. And then we're going to go after Mar. Mar's, Mar's squishy, but he does so much damage. But he takes a long time to get there. Alright. We're going to use the heal. There was a big hit from Mar. And I think most of us have at this particular point we have a good you know, we have a good Mar. We have a good Mar because we wanted to get Solius. Um if you don't have you know Mar up with his abilities, then it's gonna be kinda tough. Um if you're if you're new, like I said, those basic uh, those basic strategies are what you want to implore. Uh, what you want to do, right, is you know, try to develop a couple of different teams and then go from there. We have another heal that we can use. I'm not going to use the taunt. It's just one person left. I got the bear taunting. We're not going to use this because it's just going to go away, so we're just going to use our regular basic. And this is where you have to kind of strategize a little bit, right? Got one guy left. We should just probably use our basic attacks and save everything else. So there we go. Yet again, we we cleared it. It took a few minutes. Takes a few minutes to strategize and go through, uh, but it's worth doing. All right, we've gone half of the tower. We're gonna have half the tower done, and this has been it. It's been about thirty minutes um, for this. We have a full orc team here, right? I don't anticipate having any troubles with the orc team with my with my uh, team that I have. Um, here. If I wanted to have a taunt, right? Bring in, because I don't know if he has a first turn taunt, but he certainly does. So we're just going to bring him in. All right. We're going to try it out. So like, that's why having a full roster, having a roster full of characters that you can use um, is is big. Now, my, my uh, Killian, I think is his name. I, he's not, he's a character I just started using. Uh, Kelrion, Kelrion. Once again, we're going to go after Mar. What I am actually going to do, since I know he's got a first turn taunt, is I'm going to armor him up. And then I'm going to taunt. And then this is just going to make him so he's going to be less squishy. Um, and he's a sacrifice character. He's not a good character for me. I do not have a lot invested into him. Right? He's simply taunting, and I'm simply allowing him to just take damage. If he dies, I don't care. Um, I'm bringing him in for that for the purposes of dying <laughs> eventually. Um, and that is the entire intent for him is to die. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go after Rantha. And then. And so that's that's kind of how you have to do things. You have to pay attention um, to what you're gonna need. And some teams, you just you kind of get to the end. So we got two guys. He's got all his heals left. And you kind of have to take inventory of that. You know, you gotta take. Okay, well, he's gonna have all his abilities left at the next at the next one too. See, his taunt's gonna be back. So we're just gonna basic attack, all right? And then we're gonna just basic attack again. Basic attack again. She's going to have all of her abilities back. So now we know every single one of our guys is going to have all their abilities up for the next round. Alright. So we may use Killion, uh, Kill, Kill, 
Uran Killer Killer Ryan? I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Once again, developers would love a pronunciation guide. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> so we're back to another. This is a very powerful team, very well-known team. Um, you know, with Rant the lead, uh, and then the synergy between Venomate and Kira. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna bring in my 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 normal team that I would place uh, at this point because they're they're all my high level guys right and so this is why I'm bringing in this team patriarch Chi with the lead is going to help them get their stuff I don't know I don't remember like I don't remember where he was at so we're gonna find out hopefully we don't get wiped out right away and we'll find out what abilities are left and that's kind of what we're looking at we're, but we have we have hail of arrows Right, but what we want to do is try to see if we can get an ability block on Kira. All right, we didn't. We didn't get an ability block, so. All right, but we we got two turns to their one, and we just wiped her out. So, trial and error. Trial and error is, you know, sometimes that's your biggest friend. Uh, tr is learning how to, you know, do the different things uh we are going to go ahead and use that ability right now uh and that worked out really well um uh, for us from guard's still up so i think we're just going to attack just eat the counter attack when it comes trom guard is still not taunting which is fine mm. I do not want to use this ability. I, she's, when you look at your turn meter, he's going to go and he's going to go. Or who's going to go before me? Nobody. Nobody's going to go before me, so we're not going to hide. All right? We're just going to, we're just going to attack. We're going to get Venomate here. And then, you know what? To be rather safe than sorry, we're just going to go ahead and heal her to full. Because I know I can. His ability will heal just about anybody to full. Um, we're not going to taunt again. So we know we're just setting up for the next time. Right. Next time Solius gets a turn, right? He's gonna have his heal back. And so now his full heal's back. Yes, she has no shields, but that's okay. Um that's okay. And that and that's what we're talking about. I know I know Tower I know the video is gonna be really long. I and it, I, it that's that's kind of sucky I, like i don't want it to be super super long but i think that showing you how to do this um how i go through it and that sort of thing is really really beneficial um i i, I probably tomorrow i think that i'll probably stream my tower on twitch um i'm gonna put this video up right away so people have it and then uh tomorrow which is sunday um uh, I'm gonna. I'll probably stream the my tower run on to Twitch. Um, okay. Do you see what just happened there? We just missed. Hub back out. <laughs> That's RNG, right? We just flat out missed him. He just dodged. Why did he dodge? I don't know. He's got a. I had a hundred percent chance to hit, and he's got a two percent dodge, right? <laughs> chance. Uh, ninety-eight percent chance and just flat out miss. It's just bad RNG, right? And so, why bother with that? Just gonna back out. Um, there's no reason not to. The game's not going to penalize you for backing out of the tower. So do it. Take advantage of the mechanic. And then we're gonna go after Mar again. He didn't. He didn't dodge that one. I took off half of his health. Um, and so. And now he's dead. And see, and that's and that's really the the key here. Okay, here, here's the other thing. So we have him under. We have everybody else under stealth, and we have him up. And we he has the thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit second wind, right? We're gonna give him up offense up, and he's gonna continue to attack. So let him. He's gonna take some damage. We just gotta know how to play your abilities, All right? You know, play your abilities strong. It's interesting because this game, this game is as opposed to uh, Star Wars. Tromgard over here is not taunting yet, and I know I'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill Mortha. Boom! 
I'm like, I know I can kill her. Now, everybody's popping up out of stealth now, and so now I'm going to hit my taunt. Alright. I did that because I don't want them getting hit. Um, could I have not have done it? Sure. I could have not have done it. Um, I could use this to give him some health, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Um, I may go ahead and just feel his health, his shield bar all the way up. Uh, and there we go. So once again, I use Patriarch Chi to get shields back, and that makes you so much more, so much more tanky. Gives you so much more survivability. It's 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 really 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 interesting, and it it, it makes it fun. And now we're on level nine. Ricard, they're they're getting harder. The battles are going to get harder. We want to look at where they're at level fours they're gonna have they have level 16s um you know level 16 all the way up we got a freezard here which has level five abilities so he's gonna be tough uh let's look at snorri snorri's level five abilities drum guard has a level six so he's gonna taunt right away right and so this is gonna be a tough fight um let's let's get in to it and see how we we'll see what we can do and we will bring in this team um the same team that i've been using for the most part um i start off with the lower tanks and the lower stuff and then build up to my higher my higher tanks uh, my higher level teams so what we're gonna do is we know because he has freezard to me that was snorri right they're gonna have cheap death but they're also gonna have less health I mean, you can kind of tell that Freezard has less health, so we're just going to go straight after him. Um, all right, he cheated death, now he's dead. All right. We had to do it. We had to do it. I'm not going to use his ability here. We're going to go straight after Snorri now. Um... Could they easily, could they beat my beat my gal here? Yep, it doesn't look it does look it doesn't look good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and armor up. Now she's stunned and now she's real hurting. So we we just hope that or, here we go. Boom, full health. Solius is the best healer in the game. <laughs> he can just flat out heal, and that's why they nerfed his healing ability right in the beginning. Uh, they nerfed it because even at five right now, it's really good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a big hit. We did a really big hit, and we're going to go ahead and heal Solius. And now we're going to stealth, right? And we're going to need to... Solius is our healer, so we're going to protect him. We're going to protect him. Uh, we're going to hit the rage um, here. They don't have another healer, and he's not taunting right now, so we're just going to kill him. We're going to go ahead and hit the taunt, and we're going to heal up. Boom. Everybody's full. Everybody's full. Um... Let's see, three turns. We're just going to go ahead and use that ability. I know the question inevitably is probably going to be, do you need to have Soleus? Do you have to have Soleus to be able to have this success that I'm having? I th No, uh, but he is, his heal is so good that as you can see i was really low and then everybody popped back up and everybody wins so here we go we're on we're on floor nine and there are the bonus rooms there's bonus room for elf there's no way i'm going to be doing that um there's this room here that's only for orcs we can certainly try it but once again we're, we're setting ourselves up to fail if we want to look at this next team look it's all high levels right most of the most of the kind of high level uh, and so we'll look at the orc room and see if we want to, if we want to test it, uh, we can try, but if they wipe out our orcs, our orcs are hurt. They have no way to recover their shields. Um, you're going to have a night L on the other side. Who's really good. Uh, and 
you, we may end up losing orcs because of it. I mean, we got hard orc over here who, from what I can tell, is amazing. I don't have him yet, but I mean, you're, we've got a lot of we got a lot of problems to deal with. A lot of high levels. Um, this is obviously a bot account, so we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna drop the bear because it's important to do. All right. We're gonna try to see if we can just kill Nighty L. All right, let's go get Snorri real quick. Yep, yeah, he's still got his still got his thing on. Yeah, and there we go. We lost. We lost one orc already. Is it going to be another one? And the question is: Is this going to be? Is it worth it? You know, is it worth? Is it worth losing these guys for this for this area? I and mean, we're going to be hurting. I'm gonna need these orcs. And so at this point, what I think I'm gonna do is because I'm losing too many and they're just too hurt, I don't have a way of healing them. We'll attack. We'll kill him. All right. Let's go ahead and hit the heal. Let's see how we end up. All right. Still really badly hurt. All right. If I need these guys for later, I'm just gonna back out. Right, because I am going to need that orc team probably for the end. I've got three more levels to go, and I'm going to need that team. So I'm not going to I'm not going to sacrifice them here. I'm going to go to floor ten, and we're going to we're going to fight here. Now, once you pick floor ten, you're done. You don't get the bonus rooms, right? And that's okay. Um, you, completing the tower is more important. Like I said, completing the tower is more important than. Uh, than the than completing the bonus rooms. Once you have 150 tower wins under your belt, you can sim the whole thing and you get all get everything. So it's more important to win than to get those bonus rooms. The the last node gives you a lot of good stuff. And so we're gonna go in and we're just going to go after Freezard. I think he's the guy we're really worried about. He's now stunned. We're gonna give damage up to everybody. He's stunned and he has ability block uh, set up. He hasn't cheated death yet, so. Hopefully he doesn't get healed for all his health. Which can easily happen. We're going to go ahead and give the armor up and everything. Let's see. Yeah, he'll cheat death on that. That's what we're afraid of. Only gets the one cheat death, so he's dead now. Let's go ahead and armor up, since we have armor down. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... So as you can see, we're going to need to heal Nighty L. She's, she's hurting, so we're just going to heal her up. We're not going to waste time, and then we're going to pop shields over here. Right. We're not going to hit any of these others for now, because uh, we're we're just trying to set ourselves up for the next run. Like we're we're in good shape. We only have the healer left. All right. And as you can see, we have we're clear across the board. Everybody's gonna have their abilities again. And so we're starting to get some. We got another Venomate shard. We're getting close to having him at seven stars. So, all right, and like I said, we've got these. We're not we're not going to get these two bonus rooms. Yeah, it's okay. We don't need them. Uh, it's more important to get through where we're at, we're getting through where we're at, than getting through the bonus rooms. The bonus rooms are just not as important. Um, so, let's take a look here. All right, this is another one of those Xantars, right? So we got her. We know she's we know she's going to have health issues, right? All right, she's she only can heal with her health, so that's what we're just going to play on that. And we're gonna attack her as fast as we can. Yep, 
And then she did. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a big hit. We did. We are going to use this to heal him up and give him some of his health back. Um, use that and heal her. Get our defensive stance back up. Thank you. Let's just go straight after Venomate. Venomate's shields are, you know, are just lower. Um, she's got lower shields. So, okay, we're here. Do I need to blow her up right now? Probably not. So we're just going to use our basic. And that's and that's kind of what I'm saying. Is we're going to use the basic. Your basic attacks really should be leveled up as high as you possibly can get them. Um, because they... You use them a lot. Especially in the tower, right? You have low basic. You're going to have a hard time. So went ahead and got through it. And got through it here. Looks like the video is probably going to be about an hour long. Um, you know, I'm sorry about that. But it, it's a full tower run. It takes time. I, I probably should just stream these. It would probably be easier to stream them and then cut them down later. Uh, but in this case, I was just trying it out. So this is our last one, Mr. Dizzy. It's real high level. We, it may take two teams. And so what I usually do when I when I have this, and it looks like it's going to be a tough battle, especially because we have a, a Patriarch Chi in here. We have a healer. We're not having to deal with an IDL or anything like that. I will bring in, I will bring in a different team to fight them at first, right? And so I'm going to use a different tank than my orc tank. Um, and the reason for that is he's already hurt pretty good. He's hurt too, but he's expendable. Everybody here is expendable, but we're going to, in fact, we're actually going to do this. Um, we're not going to bring in the tank. We're going to bring in another DPS. We're going to just see how much damage can we get done in the meantime. They don't have they don't have a healer that can heal everybody. You only have Mortha who can only do the you know the three heals. And so this is what we're thinking about. You know we're thinking about these things. We're going to hit Patriarch Chi right away. And we're going to hit him again. It's kind of we're kind of trying to get him to shield himself. Because now it's going to be several turns before he can go again. Oh, did get the cheat death. Dang. Alright. Well. This is where we're at. We've done a lot of damage. But are we going to be able to beat these guys with this team? I, I don't think so. As you can see, they're starting to, starting to heal up. Right, we can go after Mortha. We killed her. All right, I'm gonna bring the bear back. No, oh, I shouldn't have attacked. So that was a mistake. I shouldn't have attacked him because he's got the big, the big shields. But that's all right. Like we, that's okay. Healer's done. We lose, and this is why you have you almost have to have those two teams. We didn't go and waste our team on the other. We did a lot of damage. We set it up uh, so Mar was going to be able to do his spin attack right in the beginning, and now these guys are on cooldown. All right, they're on cooldown, and we can bring in our team. You know, we can bring in our good, our best team, your best team, uh, and that's what I'm doing here to clean it up. I don't want to bring my best team right at the beginning. Right, because my best team is on cooldown, and we want them to be on cooldown, and they will be. And so, what are we gonna do right away? We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill Kira. I'm not even going to try to be cute about it or anything like that. We're gonna go straight after her. Oh man, I hit the wrong button. I thought I I thought it was on him. It doesn't matter. We'll just heal him, and he'll gain shields back. All right. And he cheats death. He, that does reset. But as you can see, all right, we're going to come right on in. And then we're going to throw a big hit with 90L. Throw up our taunt. All right. 
we're gonna go ahead and drop this on him just to give him the full health um, and just extra armor, extra speed, all that good stuff. I mean, there's we're in no danger here of of losing. But there you go, and that's how you that's how we do it. A full tower run. Um, and as you can see, 75,000 coins, it's a lot, um, 75,000 gold, and then we get the drag coins, um, and then, you know, we got some Hera shards that we needed, some, you know, Robin the Bad shards that, um, you know, <laughs> he's a bad character, but he helped me get really, really, he got, <laughs> because I had him for the last tournament, it really worked out. Alrighty, so that's really it. I mean, that's, that's a full run. And those are the things that I do. Um, you know, just want to recap. See, I've got 11 completed tower runs now. Uh, I've been playing the game for 15 days, 20 days. Uh, I think it, I think it's 20. Let's, let, I don't want to lie to you. Um, I believe it is, you know, 21 days. So out of my 21 days, uh, 15 now I've been able to complete. And most of them have been, um, basically since I employed these types of strategies, uh, once again, looking at my roster, all right, well, it looks like we've started another tier five raid. Awesome. Um, looking at my roster, I've, I'm pretty well stacked. I'm not, that, that that's, that's just true, I, but I'm stacked in the right ways. Like I don't, a lot of these people down here, all right, I got a lot of level ones that I've been even, I'm not even doing anything with. I have my main team, which is what you're seeing up here, Tromgard, Patriarch Chi, Nidiel, Kira, and Solius. And then I have my secondary team, Mortha, Mar, Rantha, Corcoram, and, and Lover here. And then I have a third kind of team that's just, you know, just for clans without having to use these big people. You know, Hera, Hera, Salvador, you know, I could, you know that sort of thing. Uh, Venomate, uh, you know, Kagi, if I need him. And so that's kind of, that's kind of what we're looking at. All righty. Well, I, hopefully this helps. I know it's a long video. I know it's a really, really long video. Maybe I'll make a shorter, um, you know, maybe I'll make it a shorter, uh, synopsis, uh, of what's going on, but that is how, you know, a shorter synopsis of how I do the tower. Uh, but if you have any questions, please hit that, you know, drop them down in the comments, hit me up on discord. I am on the discord server, um, for, uh, I have my own Discord server, but uh, it is rarely used. But I am on the Dragon uh, Champions Discord server all the time, uh, and so you can hit me up on there. Uh, you know, drop drop a comment on this video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here, and we'll see you next time. Gaming in the Law intersect.